Uh, when you look at the prime, uh, you know, Premier designate Cotarelli, he's expected to meet the president today. What's the most likely outcome of Italy and what happens over the summer? Uh, good morning, Francine, and thank you for inviting me. Um, it's, it's very difficult to make any prediction. I, I think all options are on the table and, uh, you know, early elections are possible, but uh, the, the formation of a, of a government is possible as well. If I may say something, I think I, I would recommend not to follow hour by hour the, the, the single evolution and convolution of Italian politics. I think we, investors should, should, should look at fundamentals, uh, step back, look, look from afar, look at, look at the at the Italian economy, its strength, the, 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 a decent uh, growth rate, uh, public finance under control, bank, bank, bank system which is uh, healthy, you know, MPLs going down. So this is, I think, what is really matters. All right, Fabrizio, how dissatisfied are Italians with the euro and the European Union? Do, do we know? Say that again, sorry. How dissatisfied are the Italians with the euro? Um, I think, if, if according to recent polls, most of the Italian population is still in favor of the euro. So I think uh, there is a lot of uh, you know wahoo around around this issue. But uh, I think most of the Italian people don't see the euro as, as the Italy's problem. They see Italian economic problem in other in other area. I think we have a problem of. Uh, Productivity. We have a problem of uh, a complicated uh, public administration. We have uh, problems around uh, skill strategy and all and, and, and all that. Um, I don't think the euro is, is really perceived as the problem to 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 to, to move ahead. Um, Fabrizio Pagani, you are a numbers man. What should happen with the budget law in Italy? Um, the budget uh, we for, for, for project for this year is uh, the deficit. Sorry, for this year is 1.6. Uh, we are running a, a primary surplus uh, above 1.5 percent. That is declining. I think the, 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 the what we call it the narrow path. So a, a budget which is expansionary in its content, but is in line with the European framework is the is the is the path to follow. Okay, what should happen with the VAT? I think uh, we, we should find a way to uh, sterilize the, 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 the VAT increase uh, in a way which is not damaging growth. And I think this is absolutely possible. We have shown in the past that okay. these kind of clauses can be, can be indeed uh, uh, um, sterilized. Uh, Fabrizio Pagani, I know we started the interview with you saying, look, investors should focus on the fact that the Italian economy is strong. It's still well below the average in Europe. Um, if you're an investor, what's the case for staying in Italian equities or in Italian bonds? What's the, the business case for Italy? But the first business case is obvious that Italy now is uh, less expensive than other countries. I think Europe in general is probably less expensive. Uh, this is a very strong business case. Uh, and then look at, the, look at the sectors. I think we have a very strong uh, uh, manufacturing sector. Uh, let me just give you a number. Uh, last year, our export raised above 500 billion euro. This is, this, is, this is gigantic. We have a very a major manufacturing trade surplus. Very few countries in, a, in, a, in, in, in the world uh, ha have that. Uh, I think, you know, uh, let, me, let me also uh, dwell on that. It's not only the traditional, you know, food, food fashion uh, uh, sectors, but we have a very strong pharmaceutical sector, robotics, uh, mechanic, and so on. I think Itali the Italian uh, um, companies have been coming out of the crisis more resilient and much more, much more integrated into... Uh, the global, the global uh, uh, value chain. Okay, but Fabrizio, the, the, the concern is that actually people are still voting for extreme parties because they don't feel part of the recovery. So do you believe that the upcoming elections, whether they be in July, September, October 2019, will de facto be a vote on Euro membership? 
Um, I don't see a major parties, any major parties, making that at the center of the election. Um, I think uh, Ital exit is not really in the card of uh, any, any major political party in Europe. There will be, I think, a different intonation and different perspective about, uh, the, um, about Europe, about further integration in, 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 in the European Union, uh, if you want also in the kind of uh, uh, standing and stance uh, Italy should take in, in, in Brussels. There may be, a, you know, a, a quite, uh, a, a quite wide margins there among among uh, among parties and quite quite wide differences. But I don't think any parties will go to elections say, "I want to go out of the Euro, of, of the eurozone and possibly of the European Union." I think that would be uh, not a very good move. Uh, do you know how many calls the European Central Bank put into the Italian Treasury over the last 24 hours? Have you been speaking to officials over in Frankfurt? No, I don't know.